Now, back in 2020, the streets of Montmartre were deserted. Tourism was non-existent. Only a few artists tried to work. It all seems like a bit of a bad dream now. But many artists suffered real hardship. In 2021, the organization of the Place de Tête underwent a drastic overhaul. Our working space was increased, not by much, but every centimeter does count. Uh, apart from that, the uh, selection process was changed. It was now to be based on quality of artist portfolios rather than uh, an examination. And the pictures were redistributed based on seniority. So, by the end of 2021, the Plastotet was well and truly rocking. Now, the videos you're about to see are in no particular order. They're all filmed from 21 to 23. New faces, old faces. Enjoy! Now, when I first came to Montmartre, when I got my authorization in 1994, everybody was using this technique. This grey paper was everywhere. Not many artists were using white paper, and there weren't many who were using colour either. The clients back then preferred this style. So it's no surprise that most artists were using it. A very simple technique, basically, mid-tone paper, black pastel, white pastel. You work with the two and you blend with your stump stick and you get this sort of semi-photographic effect. Now this artist is a great exponent of this technique and his work is still very, very popular. But what happened was, in the last decade, is that white paper suddenly became more and more popular. And this style, this black and white style on grey paper, fell out of favour. Now one of the artists who started, if I can call it that, this white paper revolution, was a Chinese artist by the name of Lin. Now you can see from this work how dramatic it is, how powerful, how eye-catching, and of course, why this style became so popular. Now, as you can see, this guy works very fast, and he gets a pretty good likeness. Now, Aja has always been a terrific draftsman and his black and white work really showed that. But recently he's been working more and more in color. Now, what do you get when you, when you have a good draftsman working in color? You get sensational drawings. Ça alors, c'est magnifique, Aja. Wow, this is really fantastic portrait. Uh, Ajahn just gets better and better with color work. Um, he makes really good use of this light. I mean, look at the light, wonderful light. Now, unfortunately, I missed the drawing of the gentleman to the right, but at least we can see Ajahn finish the lady, this very beautiful lady. Maestro. And the monsieur is là. C'est mieux en mieux, Ajan. Ouais. Non mais c'est vrai. 
Now, Haja has a great sense of color. These lips here are so, so beautifully rendered. Very delicate area. Now, Aja is very good with shadows, and he's using a kind of umber color here for the shadows under the mouth. And it helps to define as that hint of a smile that the lady has. It all helps to define that. Choice of color is so important in these areas, and you've got to be just very, very gentle. Again, this shadow area, a little bit of kind of grey going in. It's so important to have these subdued, subtle colours in your armour. Now, this dark red is exactly the right colour for this area. It's never a good idea, for example, to use black in an area like this. This is not an artist's atelier. We're working outdoors. We do not have any control of the lighting at all. The light depends on what time of day it is. It depends on the weather. It depends on which pitch you have been allocated. Now, the place where Ajas is has one particularity. There's light coming both from the left-hand side and from the right-hand side. Of course, that's not all day long, but at this point in the day, this is what it's happening. Now, that makes his life a little bit complicated, but as you can see, he's getting it right, and it's becoming very interesting because of the lighting setup in this portrait. Now look what he does with this little pencil. Now without light there is no volume. With this little stump of pencil he's creating volume for this whole chin and jaw and cheekbone area. Amazing. Now there's something about ears, they're always a very warm area, so if you use reds and pinks, it's perfect for ears, you can't get ears red enough, or pink enough. He's being very brave with the shadows under the chin 
Remember that just under the chin line very often there's reflected light uh, that comes from underneath like there that's something that very often happens even though she's wearing a dark top there will still be reflected light because there's a lot of sun and it's probably even hitting the pavement and everywhere now the artist is so aware of where the direction of light is coming from he's using that big chalk to strengthen the jaw area, the cheekbone area, and the neck area. Now notice here how he uses a big fat chalk for the hair area. Pencils are good for some areas. Fatter chalks, thicker chalks are good for other areas. The principle would be exactly the same if you were painting a picture with brushes. In this area you would be using a larger brush and using livelier brush strokes. Now he's looking to block in a mid-tone for the hair area and it's kind of olivey green. Now the blonde is there obviously but that can come in later. He wants this mid-tone undercoat first. Obviously this lady has blonde hair but you have to do the the undercoat, you have to have that kind of two-tone undercoat that, you, that is there. The principle here is to work from dark to light. Now he can start adding that blonde in the hair, but there's much more to come though. This is a, a kind of yellow ochre color, but she's really blonde and, and he will almost certainly deal with that later. Um, maybe even he add some white there because some, there's white highlights in there. 
because of the bright sunshine. Ça, c'est le 47, c'est mon crayon, ça. Exactement. <rire> c'est quoi tu m'as donné, là Ça va bien. Ils arrivent et quand ils ont rangé comme ça, ils sont tous à travailler avec la Magnifique crayon. C'est ça qui fait la différence. <rire> It's all a question of doing things in layers, and you can see working from dark to light, that hair now is beginning to look quite convincing, but probably there's more to come. There's more light to come in that hair. Now the lady is wearing a black dress and, and this is going to make actually quite a nice contrast with the gentleman's white shirt. So he's going to block this area in quite loosely. I'm very careful of black in pastel paintings because it's such an overpowering presence. Um, always best in moderation, I think, black.
C'est magnifique. L'expression de deux personnes, c'est vraiment très doux, c'est très beau l'expression. Les yeux, tout, c'est vraiment bien composé en plus. C'est rapide, c'est pas loin. Tu n'utilises plus le cachou comme papier, non C'est le gris, c'est bien quand même. Hein? C'est le gris qu'on qu sent ingre. Now he's using just enough black to suggest the shape of the dress, the top, adding a little bit of color to the shoulders, but not to overdo it. No need to do really much more. C'est bien, hein? Encore une demi-heure, c'est fini. No, you're très fort. Hein? Okay, okay. Tu sais, ça, là, c'est un coin assez difficile parce que le. Le soleil change tout le temps, la lumière est très difficile, mais la lumière là c'est parfait. Ça vient de ce côté, c'est super. Et c'est le contraire pour le monsieur. En fait, les le, lumières suivent les, pour les deux visages, c'est très bien. Il n'y a pas tout le monde qui peut faire ça. Le portier, ou madame non, non, je, je, désolé, mais elle est belle, mais je te regarde le dessin, je suis obligé. Ah, là, là. obligé. Sinon. Okay, Il nous a sublimé, mais incroyable. <coughs> vous allez voir votre portrait sur YouTube. Oui, je vous donne la carte, madame, si vous voulez. C'est les Français oui. Non, non, je demande à Asia. Belgique, Belgique. Ah, Belgique. Super. Ça a pris combien de temps à Jeanne Combien de temps 
Ma pour les deux, ça fait. Trois quarts de chacun. Oui, j'attendais ça. Oh. Oui, le blanc. Un peu plus de... Oui, je pense qu'il ne faut pas trop euh, travailler. Hein, C'est elle, elle est belle là, comme ça. Bravo. Maestro. Ça vous plaît, madame euh, J'aime bien le, les yeux, le visage, l'expression, le, le, c'est très, très, très doux. Vous avez choisi un très bon artiste. Bravo, agent. Applaudissements mérités. <rire> Wow, that was a, an amazing portrait. It doesn't get much better than that. Unfortunately, I wasn't there at the beginning, so we didn't actually see the procedure that Ajay uses when he starts a portrait. Now, you can see it here, and there are other videos where I filmed him from beginning to end. So, what Ajay has done here, he's roughly blocked in the flesh color indicating the direction of light and then he goes to the eyes he's anchoring the portrait around the eyes he's working from the eyes out outward after the eyes are established he's working on the nose and here you begin to get an impression of three dimensions. There's light coming from the left hand side. You're getting the highlight on the nose. The mouth is beginning to appear. Face is beginning to pop out of the picture. Of course, the length of the nose is vital. Getting the distance from the bottom of the nose to the top of the lip is vital. So, if you can get these relationships right, the proportions, eyes, nose, mouth, if those elements can be correctly observed, then it's pretty much impossible to get the likeness wrong in the portrait. So, after that veritable color festival, let's fast forward to 2023 and have a look at some monochrome work. Have a look at the pioneers of the white paper revolution. This is almost the best time of the day. Not sure, not sure, not sure. Not sure? <laughs> You're looking good, man. Thank you. Let's go and have a look to see this guy at work. Nice model already, very early in the morning. 
just the beginning. So it's basically it's the same principle again, starting with the eyes, getting a rough idea where the nose is going to be, where the mouth is going to be. So that model staying beautifully still, nicely still. This artist takes his time, but always does good work, always. So he's made some good progress and we can see again those three vital elements, the eyes, the nose and the mouth. Basically the basics are there. Just have to build around it now. The light has changed a little bit to what it was before. Bravo Yuan. another 10 minutes and that'll be finished it's really looking very good very professional job and, uh, that's the finished product really good so here's Chuchu at work early in the morning drawing from photograph everybody uses some telephone now because uh, so rare people bring a real photograph in. Of course, it's so easy to draw from a telephone because you can blow the photo up and see details like ears, eyes, and you name it. You know, this one has been sketched in for the beginning. Preliminary sketch is open. That'll come slowly. We'll be coming have a look at that. See if it just you can see vaguely it's been sketched in. The outlines are there. The rest will come later. We'll check that out later. I can see that the lady is almost finished. That was quite quick. This is being drawn at the same time as Yuan's portrait. Of course this is from photograph. No movement there. So he can draw from a still image it's sometimes easier you don't have a moving target anyway that's really coming on nice it's a quite a city what's good to you to these uh charcoal charcoal it's a remote fusion and maintenant une page de publicité ah tiens tiens je sais un monsieur vladimir qui a figuré beaucoup dans mes autres vidéos and he was always in my other videos and he's still alive this guy and still making everybody happy. <clears throat> Charcoal is not easy because it does smudge a lot. And you have to be careful, especially on white paper and get dirty very easily. Let's have a look and see how this goes. Doing one eye. I here to use a, an eraser to take that eye out if he needs to, but he's just drawing around it to create the highlight. Just zoom in a little bit. 
this is gonna be very good already. The lady there is looking really good. Now white paper has become very popular recently. A lot of people are using white paper, which is nice. It's refreshing. It's um, um, drawings with white paper. They they hang well. You know, they hang in any kind of decor and put it in any room of the house. It really looks good when it's framed up. So that is going really quick. Stay here for a minute, just watch how this goes. Very good. Now, what is that? Is, is, is that an eraser or some kind of blending? Uh, instrument. It's either something you can buy now or there's lots of things on the market now. I think it's a blending tool. At UT's degree, come in. Right. Yeah. A little bit of grey pastel, I think. Right. Now Choo Choo's got a multitude of little pencils and gadgets and stuff. Amazing. That's, a, that's the stomp stick. You see, this thing is the stomp stick. That's what a lot of people use for hair and stuff like that. It's quite in interesting instrument. Now, it's important to recognize that the stomp stick or stump is a tool that is useful for all kinds of styles white paper style gray paper style it's a blending tool and it's very very versatile super you can see how good that is personally though i think for blending i mean nothing beats your fingers actually or you do get a bit dirty Chuchu's got lots of little pencils that he uses for different reasons, for different areas. There's a lighter kind of pencil for more detail there in that area of the eye. Looking good. Very good. It's, ex it's exact. It's absolutely ab exact. Resemblance is perfect. You try and see the photograph from the camera, and then you compare it. Doesn't get much closer than that. Perfect. That is, this is Chuchu's portrait from a photograph. And that, I think, if we time it, maybe we're on for two people. I think he's finished and very quickly, under an hour, I think. Combien de temps tu étais dedans? Une heure. Une heure, en, environ. Un peu plus que une heure, peut-être. Very quick. Bravo. 
I'm looking at the finishing touches now. Yeah, yeah, excellent artist. Bonjour, <laughs> excellent artist. Here's another excellent artist. Oh, just oh the yes, one. Oh, like you, David, you are the best. We know this one. <laughs> it's uh, Christos arriving. We'll be filming him later. Wonderful. Bravo, yes. bravo. There you can see the photograph in the camera. There's no reflection, you can see it. And you see you can move it around and basically. Good resemblance. Very nice work. This is a super face. Very good model to draw. Adam is doing a good job there, very, very fast. He's got a good eye, this artist. That's looking very good. It's so much fun to draw people who... It's my colleague, don't worry. Who have these uh, strong faces. This way. This way. Thank you. This is looking good. I think. How long you been here, Vlad? Excuse me. How long have you been drawing here? Since yesterday. <laughs> I was a carpenter. Before. His first day. He was a carpenter well, yesterday. Day, well. He's. Um, I have already declined. Yeah. You're doing sign. pretty good for a carpenter. Huh? Yeah, I'm very good. Yeah. So it will be wooden portrait. Jesus, I'd like to see your carpentry. If your if your artwork is like this, Great. you must be you must be a genius Fantastic. carpenter. Absolutely. Looks exactly the same like my portrait. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. Keep it up. Yeah. Very nice. I like this place. Oh, very good, Vlad. This is best carpenter in town. Carpenter. Kind of using a sepia pencils on off-white paper. Little estomp stick there. You can see it. You occasionally use it. A really great face to draw. Eh? Yeah. These are the kind of models that everybody wants to draw. Lots of wrinkles and character, really great. Great fun to draw. Now, this is very interesting portrait. Unusual models. <laughs> I'm going to ask the gentleman here. Why are you having these little chaps drawn? You? <laughs> can, can you give me an explanation? Uh, yes, but it's a longer one. <laughs> a short one. Short one. Uh, my wife never has pets since uh, she was a, sh a child. Yes. And so we built up, uh, I, I, I make her the present one time with the first one it's Shawani on the left side and uh, afterwards he needs a wife so okay. that's Elsa uh -huh. and, <laughs> and uh, then uh, the mouse uh, named Luigi uh -huh. we pick him up in China because um, he's very cute yeah and then the bear is the last one in the round <laughs> okay Can and we... they, they we, we do only make journeys through the world and they're always with us. 
That's wonderful. <laughs> and they bring you good luck. Yes. And you love Until them very now, much. Now it was perfect. Are they sort of your children in a way? No, no. We have uh, two sons and two daughters. Oh, okay. <laughs> so these But are. They, and I'm five times grandfather. <laughs> oh, oh. But this is part of the family as well. Yeah, it's a part of the family. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think it's adorable. <laughs> it's so rare we have something a little bit out of the ordinary. It's good, good. amazing. Wasn't that fun, Aggie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't panic. Yeah, a very pretty young lady, but she seems to have done all the artwork herself with her eyeliner and her cosmetic palette in front of the mirror at home. So it's quite difficult to reproduce this. Now actually this is quite a difficult model to draw. The way she has made herself up, her cosmetics, um, the kind of jewelry she's wearing, her dress, everything is very difficult to render if you're going to do it in a realistic way. So, she's chosen Bernard, whose work is extremely decorative, and it, it, he's perfect for her. Um, she has chosen the right artist, and uh, she's perfect for him, for his style. So everybody's happy. There's always someone there at the square who is perfect for your face. That's why it's so beautiful that there are so many different styles, so much variety. I love it. Now this is a completely different approach to watercolor. This is the academic way, if you like, and it's so, so difficult to do. You've got to multitask. You've got to think of so many things at the same time. It's like playing 4D chess. And that's why this medium is universally considered to be the most difficult of all. The skill set required to pull off a portrait like this is, is staggering. You have to be right on the button with your observation, your choice of color, your, how much you're gonna load your brush, your drying times. It's, this is a phenomenal portrait, and the artist, Majid, has been doing sensational stuff like this for the last two years. Super. Great. Now this one is a little masterpiece. 
It's so fresh, it's so simple, it's not overcooked. And the lightness is spot. For me personally, and for everyone at Montmartre, these last three years have been fabulous. To see family members again, to see old artist friends again, to see clients again. Clients who in fact have become friends over the years. I have to say a big thank you to all those who have been supporting me through these last few years, and especially to those who have been supporting me for a decade or more. In the 1980s, I did some drawings of some children in Samalo. The boy I was drawing then turns up in 2022 with his children to have them drawn. Thank you, Sam, for this commission. 15 double portraits drawn in graphite. This was a group portrait that took a bit of time. I had to go to a restaurant to, to take the photos and do some studies, and then I worked on it in the studio. I had to make a special frame because the heads were so small. I needed a kind of rigid support for my drawing hand. In the end, I was pretty satisfied with the result I got. Now, this portrait was probably the most challenging one of the last three years. Now, what this very romantic fellow wanted was a painting of him proposing to his girl with the sacre coeur in the background. But he wanted to present the drawing to his girlfriend, his future wife, at Versailles. Luckily, it was a beautiful day, it was July. And of course, he turned up as planned with his girlfriend on horseback. Then, of course, the lovely lady sees the painting, realizes what it's all about. <laughs> Before he gets down on bend the knee. <laughs> he didn't? You didn't know this was coming? No! <laughs> well done, Chris. Thank you. Amazing surprise. It was a terrific idea. It cannot be that good without you. So that's a hard act to follow. I did a lot of couples in the last three years, and some in colour, some in sepia style, which I normally use. So during these three years, I had a lot of fun, had a lot of great models. Unfortunately, I can't get you all in here, but thank you all. Now it's time for me to present the award for best model 2021 to 2023. And it goes to a sitter with four legs. Quite amazing, this model sitting for Choo Choo. Now, he or she did get a little bit fed up in the end, but a deserved winner, I think you will agree. Now, there are a lot of uh, pet portraits during the years 21 to 23. Here's Sharoko working on one. Here are some of my drawings of animals, with or without their owners, mostly done in color. Now, this is a new trend people bringing in photos of their pets to be drawn and I love it it's great it's a lovely change especially if you if you love animals like I do it's an absolute joy Thank you.